The events of Hogwarts Legacy happened in 1899, placing them many years before those shown in the Harry Potter books and films. This allows the game the chance to introduce players' unique characters, who join in the school as fifth-year students, as a new side of the wizarding world to fans. In addition to exploring some previously unexplored characters and events, the game's plot also includes brand new ideas, such as a fresh source of the magical energy that surrounds the universe. The player doesn't immediately understand the game's central conflict, but they eventually learn that there is a mystery ancient power that only some wizards can sense and access. The main character encounters four wizards known as the Keepers, who have dedicated their life to keeping this power a secret from the rest of the world. It seems that Isadora, a professor at Hogwarts, has access to this ability. The player discovers that in order to assist her obtain this energy, she is capable of taking away other wizards' emotions. Isadora hoards this power in a huge repository beneath the school and has become addicted to it. The Keepers and the player go to the repository to face her after learning the truth. The Keepers initially intend to reach an agreement peacefully, but Isadora shows to be too overcome by her addiction and makes an effort to defend herself. This leads to a conflict in which Isadora kills the Keeper Naya before falling to her own death. The Keepers and the main characters then focus their efforts on finding any further unknown repositories of ancient magic. The protagonist also learns the motivations of the game's two main villains, the Goblin Rainrock and Victor Rookwood while searching for other repositories. The reason for the pair's tense cooperation remained a secret up until this stage in the game. Victor, however, turns out to be Charles Rookwood, the Keeper's estranged son. Victor's troubled connection with his father led him to attempt to rebel against his wishes since he felt that wizards deserved more authority over the world than non-magic muggles. Victor joined up with Ranrock who had just started a bloody goblin rebellion at that point. Victor was able to expand his power and wreak chaos in the wizarding world because to this cooperation. He offered Ranrock access to a repository of ancient magic that Charles had buried beneath his childhood home in return. Although he was aware that he would need more, Ranrock thought that this strength would enable him and his fellow goblins to resist the oppressive wizards. The protagonist develops a close relationship with the goblin Lord Gok throughout the duration of the game. Ranrock's younger brother Lord Gok, despite the two, got into a fight over the goblin rebellion. Lord Gok was never in favor of this rebellion since he knew it would eventually turn violent. In order to attempt and stop the upheaval before it went too far or caused any more damage, Lord Gok joined forces with the wizards of Hogwarts rather than aiding his brother in his plans. Due to Lord Gok's proximity to Hogwarts, he also helps the player character during the process of the game, finally accompanying him to a mine that Ranrock uses to gather ancient magic. Nevertheless, Ranrock and Victor eventually catch the couple, revealing that Lord Gok had been hiding a journal containing details on the ancient power that Ranrock had been urgently looking for. Ranrock feels betrayed by his younger brother after learning this information. Ranrock lashes out at Lord Gok in a fit of fury, fatally wounding the younger goblin. Yet, before he passes away, Lord Gok also uncovers the location of the final repository of ancient magic, driving everyone or the final fight to control it. The protagonist is brought to a wand maker to have a unique wand made just for that purpose in order to improve their chances of successfully sealing the final repository. The wand is easily created, but as they are leaving, none other than Victor Rookwood approaches them. Victor advises the player to cooperate because he doesn't want Ranrock to have access to the power either. He was merely controlling the goblin for his own purposes. Victor, however, 
asserts that wizards are entitled to this ancient power and asks the player to assist him in seizing it. The protagonist instantly pulls their wand and rejects Victor's offer. As a result, the main character is kidnapped and transported to an arena where Victor's lackeys are present. Despite the difficulty of the battle, the hero succeeds in defeating Victor and his troops. Victor's destiny is never totally clear, though. Instead, the player and Victor engage in a flare battle as Victor is destroyed by an explosion. The lack of a corpse or final words seems to imply that Victor might have survived the encounter. While Hogwarts is being invaded by Renrock's soldiers, the player and several faculty members move on the repository with their new wand in hand. Many faculty members lose their lives in the battle for the repository or make other stops to fend off Renrock's invading army. The only people left to deal with Renrock and defend the old magic source are the player and Professor Fig. They can no longer prevent Ranrock from gaining access to the energy and changing into a huge dragon with the ability to wipe out the entire school and cause chaos throughout the entire world. The Hogwarts Legacy final boss battle starts now. Ranrock is ultimately defeated by the player and Professor Fig, protecting the school and putting an end to the larger goblin uprising. But, the player's answers to two questions from Professor Fig prior to the battle decide the outcome of the ancient magic. Players will either view the nice ending or the wicked ending, depending on their choice. The player receives the positive outcome of Hogwarts Legacy if they promise to seal the repository and keep it a secret for all time. Sadly, Fig finds that the effort required to do so even with the aid of the special wand is too much. Fig is found on the ground, barely holding on to life after the power has been contained. With his dying words, he expresses confidence in the player's ability to serve as a keeper and assurance that they will keep the world safe. He assures the main character that his late wife would have loved them before dying. If the player tells Fig that they want to take over control of the repository for himself, the evil ending of Hogwarts Legacy is the one they choose. When the player makes this decision, a cutscene where Ranrock is defeated and the player absorbs the power of the repository plays out to ominous music. The scenario then quickly ends as the protagonist is shown with glowing eyes that appear to imply a turn toward malice. Strangely, the horrible conclusion never depicts Professor Fig's final moments. However, regardless of whether the player receives the good or bad ending, a sequence showing the Hogwarts professors paying tribute to the deceased professor plays afterward. After completing the game, the player can continue on with it to do side quests, develop their character, and get ready for the year's final exams. Players will unlock a cutscene featuring the real ending of the game when they complete the game almost entirely and reach level 34 out of 40. This scene represents a variety of Hogwarts students that the player interacted with throughout their time there as they attempt their final exams by creating potions, defeating boggarts, and passing more standard written tests. The player's character then attends the ceremony to present the house cup for the year when the tests are finished. Professor Weasley intervenes at the ceremony at the last second to give the player's home an additional 100 points. The player's house wins the house cup for the year as a consequence of these points, which are given in honor of the player's bravery and acts during the attack on Hogwarts. The protagonist is pictured celebrating with their companions when the game finally comes to a finish. The player will meet a variety of companions throughout Hogwarts Legacy, depending on the house they are assigned at the beginning of the game. The most fascinating of these is Sebastian Sallow, a member of the Slytherin House. The player is drawn into Sebastian's company by his charisma and confidence. Yet as the main character gets to know him, they discover that Sebastian has a problematic background. In addition to being sent to live with his uncle after his parents passed away, his sister also has an undiagnosed illness that is slowly killing her. Before meeting the player, 
Sebastian experimented with the dark arts due to these troubling circumstances. If the main character stays around Sebastian, they'll also find themselves trying to use dark magic and ancient artifacts to help him heal his sister. The player is trapped in a cavern with zombies all around them near the conclusion of this plot, desperately attempting to carry out a ritual. Next, in an effort to stop Sebastian from being even more tarnished by the dark arts, Sebastian's uncle confronts the pair. Yet when the argument grows heated, Sebastian is forced to kill his uncle out of desperation. The book that could have saved her is then destroyed by his sister, leaving Sebastian devastated by his failure. The plot of Sebastian's character may be the one that is most closely related to the concepts of power corrupting those who abuse it. The idea that some power is so enormous that no one should be able to use it underlies Hogwarts' legacy. The core plot of the game, which centers on the protagonist's efforts to prevent the world from knowing about the ancient magic, heavily rallies on this idea. The game's evil finale confirms the message even further, as the keepers are praised by the game for accomplishing just that. Even if the player wants to use the ancient power for good, just having it available will ruin their character. The narrative of Sebastian Salo also explores this issue. He used the Forbidden Dark Arts, which are notorious for their corrupting influence in the Wizarding world, in his desperation to save his sister. Despite his best efforts, he was driven by them to the point of madness and even to the point of destroying his own family. It was all and nothing in the end. The main character Isidore or Sebastian all teach us that certain power should be kept hidden in Hogwarts legacy. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below.